Hey guys, Coaster Zone here, and in today's Coaster discussion, we are going to be talking about John Duffy, who recently retired from Six Flags two days ago. Now, the reason I'm coming out with this video is right now is because the last couple of days I was traveling, I was at Six Flags New England, I actually did film a vlog there, but I ended up messing it up, so that won't be uploaded but I'll I'll talk more about that in another video. So, if you don't know what happened, John Duffy actually uh, retired. Six Flags says that it was for personal reasons. And now Jim Reed Anderson, the old CEO, is now the new CEO. Now, this is all very fishy and very suspicious because John Duffy wasn't even the CEO for a year and a half. He became CEO in February of 2016, and now in July of 2017, he suddenly retired. It was unexpected. No one saw it coming. There were no rumors around it. There's nothing around it. He just suddenly retired. So there are a lot of theories out there about how this could possibly be because um, Six Flags hasn't been doing well and all that. But first, they did say it was for personal reasons. So if it truly is and it's an illness or something or some kind of family matter like that, I really wish him the best and I'm sorry about that. But I I personally, I'm not quite sure if that's what it is. I think it could possibly be because Six Flags has been struggling. As we know, attendance so far in 2017 is down. Attendance is down. Their stock has been dropping. Um, I don't really know too much about that, but I've been seeing, I've been reading some, um, other things about it. But, yeah, I don't know too much about that, but I do know that their stock is dropping, but I know nothing about economics or anything. But, yeah, their stock has been dropping, and, um, yeah, so on top of their stock dropping, next, next week is their second quarter, um, meeting where they discuss what's going on in the second quarter so it could be a little disappointing and maybe that's why John Duffy left uh maybe he thought I don't want to be a part of this anymore this isn't good I'm gonna I'm gonna jump ship now but also he could have been forced out now I mean attendance has been down um, they're not making as much money, of course, with attendance being down. So, maybe they said, listen, John, we're gonna fire you. Here, you can retire, so this can be done gracefully. If not, we're just gonna fire you. Maybe that's what happened. You know, we really don't know. But now let's get into the ride side of this and how this affects that. Well, the new for 2017 rides, it was a little disappointing, but it was not, it wasn't terrible. I mean... They were sort of solid additions, but it definitely was disappointing to everyone, including myself. But John Duffy didn't have too much to do with that, because he became CEO in February of 2016. The rides were announced about six months later in that year, in September of 2016. So most likely, those rides were in place under Jim Reed Anderson, who's now the new CEO and was his old CEO. Now, now, he did probably sign off on it. Maybe, you know, there was a few things about the last 40 free fly and how it wasn't supposed to go to Great America. It ended up going to Great America. So, who knows? But these rides were pretty much in place under Jim Reed Anderson. Now, where this gets interesting is 2018. Because, remember, he came out and said five record-breaking attractions or new to North America. That was only a couple weeks ago. What? What now? He announced that. This is probably his first year really being CEO under the new attractions. And even Jim Reed Anderson, when he was CEO, probably still had some impact on what's coming in 2018. Now, what does that mean? It was very odd when he came out and was so vague about um, the new attractions. But, yeah, I'm going to cover this more. And later videos. Until next time, Coaster Zone is out of here. Thanks.